And we all continue to wait out the final results, of course, of the presidential election. Election stress continues, meanwhile, for many. Our Ken Molestina spoke to people today around town who shared some thoughts on the emotional and the mental strain that they're feeling right now. You know, the folks we spoke with say there is certainly anxiety because we don't know what the result is. But they say adding to that is the fact that it may be several days before we finally do know. I'm just so tired of the uncertainty of where we're headed, and I want that result. Downtown Fort Worth shop owner Carrie Miners has spent her day keeping tabs on the latest news regarding votes still being counted. The anxiety she's feeling while the world waits is widespread among those who woke up this morning without an answer. It was very uh, stressful with all the campaigns going on, very uh, uh, really ate at me, and now we're, I thought it'd be over, and it isn't. Others are trying to find calm wherever they can. I do understand people being anxious because there's huge implications uh, over the leadership of our country. You seem to be feeling pretty good. You're just going to sit and wait. I'm patiently waiting and patiently praying. The anxiety related to the post-election night limbo is a legitimate concern, according to mental health counselor Dr. Stephanie Waite. It can turn into an anxiety disorder. It can turn into an eating disorder. It can turn into, you know, major depressive disorder. With Thanksgiving and the holidays just around the corner, Dr. Waite says family gatherings could also become contentious. She advises to set conversation boundaries with those you may gather with, focus on self care, and disconnect from social and news media as needed. Maybe take breaks, maybe only spend a few minutes consuming, get a little bit of the information that you need. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Dr. Wade also says you shouldn't feel any shame in talking to maybe a therapist about these issues if you feel like you need someone to talk to.